In order to master any instrument, you just plain need to play it a whole lot. That's a given. The truth is there are, there are a lot of things that we could become great at, you and I, if we just were to decide to become great at one particular thing. We would focus on it, we would keep practicing, and we would never quit, and we would get great at it at some point. That's one reason, really, why I love a portable instrument like the ocarina, because even though I'm so very busy, I manage to play on a consistent basis, and I manage to stick with music, because I just about always have my ocarina with me. But besides practicing, uh, perhaps the most important thing that uh, you can do to improve as a musician is to listen to fine performers who sing or play the kind of music you want to play. By listening to beautiful music, you are uh, growing in your musical vocabulary, so to speak. You know, whenever you start to learn a new genre of music, whether it's Irish dance music or blues or jazz or whatever, it's a little like moving to a foreign country to learn to speak a new language. Everything is confusing at first. Um, you feel lost like a little child. Uh, but if you pay close attention and you find people to help you, you gradually begin to first recognize the sounds and then little by little you begin to sort of understand what people are saying, kind of. Uh, and if you stick with it and work at it, you slowly start to produce the words yourself, little by little getting closer to the sounds of a native speaker. Of course, the more focused and intense you are, the faster you make progress. Uh, if you don't quit, by the way, progress is virtually guaranteed. With music, as you listen to good role models to beautiful music, you'll find that you gradually have more to say with your own instrument because with practice, that music in your mind will start to come out of your instrument. But it really has to be in your head before it starts to come out the tone holes of your instrument. Um, you know, a creative person rarely creates something entirely new. Instead, the creative process usually involves taking bits and pieces of ideas from many sources and experiences and combining them into something new and hopefully fresh, combining them into your own particular voice. Now, of course, uh, when I say listen to beautiful music, I mean whatever music sounds beautiful to you, uh, the kind of music you want to play someday. I might not even like it, but that's fine. As long as you do, who cares what I think? So, if you are new to playing an instrument, um, in addition to practicing, also take advantage of uh, free time while you're traveling in the car or while exercising, whatever to listen and to learn from other musicians. With that said, never feel that you are no good until you can play a song exactly like somebody else does. I mean, whoever said that that was the only way to play that particular song? Uh, there are literally endless ways to play any piece of music. In fact, each time you each time you perform a piece of music, you are actually recreating it according to your own tastes and experiences, abilities, temperament. So as much as you may try to imitate another player, find your own voice little by little and realize that that's okay, that you don't sound just like somebody else. And definitely, don't be discouraged if you receive some criticism. There's no way you can, can become good at anything without being criticized a good bit along the way. Of course, we can almost always learn something from criticism, 
But try to think for a, a moment about some musician who you love, who you, th who you think is just incredibly gifted, fantastic. And maybe they have sold uh, millions of CDs to hordes of adoring fans. Well, if they have, chances are pretty good that there are at least uh, several million other people in the world who can't stand that artist's music for whatever reason. Does that mean that that artist is no good be just because somebody doesn't like their music? No, it, it just proves that not everybody likes the same thing. And frankly, sometimes people actually do like a certain artist, but they refuse to admit it because it doesn't go with their image or because it makes them feel superior when they criticize others. Or they are jealous or they feel cranky. Who knows? <laughs> That's just the way of the world to criticize others, unfortunately. Um, you know, two friends go to a concert together. One of them hears a song, uh, and he, uh, he says, Oh, that was way over the top, man. That guy's technique was terrible. Oh, that was, that was lousy. You know what I'm saying here? Meanwhile, his friend, who is by his side, who just listened to the same song, is thinking, man, that was incredible, just incredible. I have never heard anything so beautiful in my life. It was beautiful. <laughs> uh, uh, so, while we are learning from other musicians, and from each other, we should not fall into the trap, if we can help it, uh, of thinking there is only one way to play a song correctly. Instead, Let's make it our aim to gradually become more and more expressive, more and more musical with our instrument as we take what we learn from others and develop our own sound, our own voice.